is a fascinating machine. The more you learn, the more you are impressed by the complicated mechanisms inside. Since we are all about voice, I want to focus on the incredible voice box in our throat, otherwise known as the larynx. I'm going to try to show you how it works and simplify the anatomy to explain how the vocal folds create a sound. The larynx sits on the windpipe, that is the airway coming in from our lungs to our mouth. This is the larynx from the side. This will be the front of our neck. These are the vocal folds and on top is the epiglottis which has an important role in our protection. The number one role of the larynx is to block the airway when we eat or drink, which is important because it keeps us alive. In order to block the windpipe, the swallowing muscles are activated. They raise the larynx while the vocal folds close tightly together and the upper glottis above them as a cover. You can try making a sound when you swallow, and good luck with that, I promise you it's just not possible in that position. What we want to know is what happens when the larynx is in a comfortable position and open enough to produce sound. For that, let's look at the larynx from above. This will be the front of our neck when the vocal folds are attached and that is in the back where they are further apart. This V-shape is the resting position of the vocal folds and as we produce sound, the muscles in the back help them adduct and close. We have three groups of muscles in the back of the larynx that help the vocal folds move together and move apart. The inner layer of the vocal folds is the thyroarytenoid muscle, or in short, the TA. When this muscle contracts, it also helps the vocal folds come together, but also makes the folds thicker and shorter. This muscle is used a lot when we sing the low register, known as chest voice. In the front of the larynx, we have two muscle groups called cricothyroid, or in short, CT. When they contract, they tilt the front of the larynx, pulling it down and basically stretch the vocal folds to become longer and more narrow. The longer vocal folds will produce higher pitches and therefore the CT is considered to be more dominant in the high register of our voice, also known as head voice. <laughs> 